Arleigh Burke-class destroyer USS Statham has conducted a Freedom of Navigation FON, operation on the 26th of February. She sailed between the South China Sea and the East China Sea through the Taiwan Strait alone with USNS Cesar Chavez, which is a Lewis and Clark-class dry cargo ship. U.S. Navy's Pacific Fleet spokesman, Lieutenant Commander Timothy Gorman, said in a statement, USS Statham DDG-63, and USNS Cesar Chavez TAKE-14 conducted a routine Taiwan Strait transit on February 25th, local time, in accordance with international law. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Liu Kang told a news briefing, we resolutely oppose the United States taking provocative actions which are not conducive to peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. China claims almost all the South China Sea and is trying to establish de facto control of the waters. It wants all ships and aircraft navigating in the area to identify itself to the Chinese military. Vietnam, Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan also have claims on these waters but China has outmuscled them and set up military infrastructure in the many islands including the Spratly Islands. The South China Sea route is significant as about $5 trillion in trade and almost 50% of the world's oil shipment passes through it each year. The waters are also thought to have 11 billion barrels of untapped oil and 190 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. Countries like the US, Japan, and India have no claims in the area and want freedom of navigation as per international maritime laws. Viewers may note that the US conducts freedom of navigation exercise regularly and it's the fourth such transit in five months. This FON operation occurred even as US and China are engaging in resolving the trade dispute. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why China should fear USS Statham. Let's get started. USS Statham is an Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer of the US Navy. Arleigh Burke class warships were designed as multi mission destroyers capable of anti aircraft warfare, AAW, anti submarine warfare, ASW, and anti surface warfare, ASUW. The class is named for Admiral Arleigh Burke, who was an American destroyer officer in World War II and went to be Chief of Naval Operations. U.S. Navy has 66 Arleigh Burke class warships in active service. USS Statham is the 13th Arleigh Burke class Aegis destroyer. It was built by Ingalls Shipbuilding and was commissioned on the 21st of October 1995. USS Statham has Yokosuka, Japan as the home port. USS Statham being an Arleigh Burke class destroyer is among the largest destroyers built in the United States. It has an overall length of 509 feet, that's 155 meters, and displacement of about 9,200 tons. USS Statham is powered by four General Electric LM2530 gas turbines producing 100,000 horsepower, 75 megawatts, that drives two shafts. They have a speed of 30 plus knots or 55 plus kilometers per hour and a range of 4,400 nautical miles or 8,100 kilometers. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers DDGs, is the United States Navy's first class of destroyers built around the Aegis combat system. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is a United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency program developed to provide missile defense against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to reentry. It enables USS Statham to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the ANSPY-1 radar and standard missile technologies. Aegis BMD equipped vessels can transmit their target detection information to other systems and if needed engage potential threats using either the SM-2 or SM-3 missile. SM-3 missile having a range of 2,500 kilometers and a speed of Mach 10.2 
is especially suited for this task. The heart of the Aegis systems on board the USS Statham is the N-SPY-1 radar. It's an advanced, automatic, detect-and-track, multifunctional phased array radar. This high-powered, 4-megawatt radar is able to perform search, track and missile guidance functions simultaneously, with a capability of over 100 targets. A conventional, mechanically rotating radar sees a target when the radar beam strikes that target once during each 360-degree rotation of the antenna. A separate tracking radar is then required to engage each target. By contrast, the computer-controlled and spy one a phased array radar of the Aegis system brings these functions together within one system. The phased array can concentrate energy where it's needed. The operator can boost the range and resolution in a particular direction without blinding the ship to threats from another side. The four fixed arrays of SPY send out beams of electromagnetic energy in all directions simultaneously, continuously providing a search and tracking capability for hundreds of targets at the same time. USS Statham is very well equipped and is designed to be a multi-weapons platform. It has in total 96-cell Mark 41 Vertical Launch System VLS, divided into two blocks of 32 and 64 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on mission. 1. BGM-109 Tomahawk Cruise Missile for Land Attack Two. RIM-66 Standard Missile 2 SM2, Surface-to-Air Missile for Air Defense 3. RIM-161 Standard Missile 3 SM3, for Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense It also has two Mark-141 Harpoon Missile Launcher for anti-ship roll. Two Mark-32 Triple Torpedo Tubes are present, launching Mark-46 or Mark-50 torpedoes. Two MH-60R Seahawk Lamps three helicopters are also present for anti-submarine warfare. Other than these, it's equipped with a long-range 5-inch naval gun. There is multiple short-range weapon systems which include the Phalanx CIWS and M242 Bushmaster Cannon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.